Now, the story of this Black Mamba is a little interesting because uh, when I wrecked, I had to walk to Jody Cornelison's house. We had to come back, tow my truck out of the ditch. Dale Cornelison tore it out, and we brought it back to his house. It was making a banging noise because a rock had hit the, uh, the um, uh, I can't think of what it's called. Um, anyway, it, it, it bent the, uh, um, it goes from the transmission to, to the, the rear, rear differential, the drive shaft. It bent the drive shaft and, um, it made it, I had to move a little bit, but anyway, that's why my, my uh, flywheel kept, kept busting. I had to keep getting it replaced. But, um, after that, uh, it, uh, a few days later I heard and, and, and I saw it actually. I was driving, we were driving. I saw it. I said, what is going on? What is that? And you could see the snake actually striking at somebody. Now, what I saw when, when we were driving was, was a machine like this. And the snake was in, it was stuck inside of this thing and it was striking at the people. And, uh, what I heard was they didn't know what kind of snake this was. So they called a game warden, an Oklahoma game warden to come out. And again, this is on Brock Road somewhere. And, uh, at least where I saw the snake, where I wrecked and, uh, the snake got caught up in this rake. So they called the game warden. Now I said, what kind of snake is this? We've never seen anything like this. And it turned out to be a black mamba. Now those snakes are only from Africa. Uh, what's a black mamba doing out here? Uh, but, uh, th this is, uh, that, that's what I showed you was a black mamba, which is highly venomous. This is a black mamba right here. Uh, highly venomous, uh, deadly, um, black inside its mouth. Okay, so that was in 1987, in the summer of 87, just after I got that 79 pickup from my brother. Um, now, uh, th here comes another crazy story. Um, sometime, I I'm not sure what year it was, but all of a sudden, Corey Butler and, and Charles Wright, they, they, they start going, boom, slang. Boom, slang. I, I thought, what are y'all talking about? I thought they were talking about, you know, bass in the car. And they kept, oh, no, it's just boom, slang. Boom, slang. They kept doing stupid stuff like that. I had no idea why. No idea. But I found out. I found out. Because I think that's what a black mom was called. But I think that's actually what, uh, no, actually, we'll find out in a second because I, I actually pulled it up. I think that's what a green mom is called. We'll find out in a second. Um, but anyway, this story goes with Jason Miller from Lone Grove. And Chris Christian from Long Grove, Shane Hawley was there, and Jacob Hawley was there. So on the first trip, it was just me and Jason Miller and Chris Christian, and we went to a pond. And um, the pond, it, it looks like, the, I believe this is the actual pond right here. The people drove by this road and said, it's okay, you can fish there, just don't leave any trash. And I'd fish here, and I caught, I caught some pretty good fish out of there. But uh, me and Jason Miller went through there with Chris Christian. And we were walking through, and there was a little tree. And right as we are going by this tree, Jason Miller said, Man, I feel, I feel like I'm going to get bit by a two-step snake. I said, what's that? That was a two-step I feel like I'm going to get bit by a two-step snake. And he kept on walking. We kept fishing, and we left that day. And I kept asking what that was. But him and Chris Christian, you know, that kept the lips sealed. But he was like, man, you shouldn't have said anything. And I remember him saying, he'll never figure it out. It's not, it's not the same color as black and yellow. I said, what kind of snake? He said, it's from, it's from Vietnam. Don't worry about it, Brett. Don't worry about it. You'll never see it. Jason Miller happened to say that. So after that day, um, me and Shane Hawley, we're, we're going to go fish. I was going to take Jacob fishing because I wanted him to catch a, a bass. I wanted to see him catch a fish because he's never caught one before. Um, I think maybe perch or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But he never caught a bass. So Chris Christian decided to go with us that day. And um, we went to the same pond. And we started walking out. And um, right as we got to that, that same area where Jason Miller said uh, he felt like he was going to get bit by a two-step snake, we saw a green snake in the tree. And I was like, whoa. Said, Come here, Jay. And I put Jake up on my shoulders. And I walked away kind of around the tree. I wouldn't get close to that tree. Walked around. I let him go fish over there. And he caught the first bass. He's ever caught about two and a half pounds, at least two-pound bass. First pass for a little kid. He's only like five years old. But Shane come running. I warned Shane, there's a, there's a snake at you. Said, oh, no, I saw that snake. I'm going to go right on through. And it came over and the snake was gone. Now, the funny thing about that was uh, Chris Christian said, oh, it's only a green rough snake, rough green snake, something like that. 
and, and Shane said, well, how do you know what, what that is? Oh, no, because it's not even close to this area. It's not. That kind of green rough, rough green steak is not even supposed to be in this area. But that's not what I saw. What I saw was a green mamba, a baby green mamba. I didn't know what it was until I looked it up. It's a baby green mamba. That's what I saw that because it was lime green. Lime green. Shane Hawley saw that snake too. That was a lime green snake. And it was a, it was a, it was, a, it was a green mamba. Um, but it just kind of, I don't think it's a coincidence. Jason Miller said, I feel like I'm going to get bit by a two step snake about two weeks before we went through there with me and Jacob. And that's what made me think with Jacob on my shoulders. If someone's going to get bit, it's going to be me, not Jacob. So anyway, I'm going to show you some pictures of these, these snakes and the area where this pond is. So this is the area of the actual pond. I believe this is the actual pond right here. You can see there's a highway right here, 53. This is uh, Sulphur's up here, and uh, Dixon is down here, and this is the highway that comes across from the Armoire Park. And the pond is right here. There's a curve right here where there's road construction on the side. And right up here, there was trees on both sides before. They cut them all down. I heard it so that I wouldn't find this pond anymore. But it's like a, a row of trees, and the pond's right here. And there's a radio tower back here. The radio tower, I don't think it was there before. This, I believe, that is the actual pond. It used to have a whole bunch of reeds on the back side of it towards the road. Um, so I'll get rid of this picture, and I'll go to this one. Um, this is, uh, that's the black racer. Uh, I don't even need to show you that picture. This is uh, something I pulled up. That That's what that's what they tried to tell me I saw. That That's what everybody, now what I heard was, a game warden came out because they, they didn't. They're like, that's not a black race. We don't know what that is. And the game warden identified it as a black mamba. And he had to look it up. And I, I heard the only way you could tell what it was is because it had a black mouth, inner mouth. And, and the scales looked different than any snake they'd ever seen before. It, it, had to be, it was a black mamba is what I was told, which was this black mamba. And the next spread, too, is what they said. So they never seen it. Could just because of that, it's like, is that Cobra? No, uh -uh, it was a black mamba. Anyway, what I saw in that tree was a green mamba. And um, it looks, green mamba looks like, now I'm pulling up pictures slowly. I believe this is the green mamba. Yep, there's a green mamba. That's what I saw, a lime green snake with a head like that. But it was a baby green mamba. And I heard the person that owned the pond took a picture of the snake. And gave it to the sheriff. I, and I heard the sheriff took the picture. and said, don't worry about it. But I heard he took two pictures. I don't know if that's true or not. But they told me they did not want me coming out to that pond anymore after that day. Because they saw with that snake. Out, in that, out, out on that tree. On the actual tree. Right before I got there. And they, they said they actually saw it. And they killed that snake. Uh, Chris Christian said. It was a rough green snake. This is a rough green snake. Um, look there from floor. And that is not what I saw in that tree. Chris Christian knew that somebody put a snake on that tree that was deadly. And now I have a picture of a two-step snake, which is what Jason Miller seemed to think I was going to get bit by a two-step snake. Right there. That's a two-step snake from during the Vietnam War. The, I mean, I guess they... They found these over there in Asia somewhere because they are from Asia, but I, I didn't know they were in Vietnam. I just know that um, this is actually a crate. Um, I just know that uh, Jason Miller said two-step snake, and about a week or two later, there was a green mama in that tree, and I heard him talking about this, and it's the exact color he's talking about, and he even said it was from Vietnam. That's all I know. Um, are they trying to kill me? I think so. So I had to look the picture up again. So let's go back to the boom slang. Boom slang from Corey Butler and, and Charles White. And, uh, I can't remember everybody else. I, I know those, both of those guys said it. Boom slang. Boom slang. Boom slang. Brad. Boom slang. They kept joking. Boom slang is a green mamba. So I'm pretty sure they knew somebody was going to put a green mamba on that tree for either me or Jacob, Ollie, and... Um, that's pretty deadly because pretty dangerous because these are highly venomous, and in America you're not going to find any venom for a green mamba in Oklahoma because they do not expect to see a green mamba 
and Sulphur, Dixon, Davis, Ardmore, anywhere in this area. So uh, anyway, thanks a lot, Charles White, Butler, Randy Watt, Donna Burton, Ronnie Hartley.